If I ever were to lose you, I'd surely lose myself. Everything I have found here, I'm not found by myself. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Trophy the Babbling Belgian, and this is The Last of Us Part 2. Last time, we uh, spent an entire hour with uh, Ellie and Dina. They had a very very nice ending to that chapter uh, we did clear out an entire uh, well mall from uh, the infected but uh, right now we're back with Abby Abby is a very mysterious character we don't know what she's all about uh, there's clearly right. multiple infected. infected all around oh my god oh god well this chapter is called the horde by the way oh god um, how the hell am I going to survive this? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! I'm going to have to run, baby! I'm going to have to run! Jesus Christ! Okay, just, do, just took a turn. Over here! <laughs> oh, this, uh, this took a turn. Um... Um, don't stop. Yeah, don't stop. Indeed, don't stop. Okay, this is a set piece. Got it. Got it. Just running. Keep on running. Damn, there's a lot of them. Over here, then? Maybe? Over here. Ah! Okay, what the hell? It doesn't seem to be slowing down. Is it over here? to go up? I have no idea where I'm going right now because this is just over here. Maybe. Oh god. Just climb up the truck, climb up the truck. Ooh, and I'm over the fence. There we go. Okay. I'm just gonna keep oh, 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 oh. Okay, I have no idea where to go now. Um, um, ow. Damn, damn, this isn't good. Oh, this isn't good. This is, oh, I needed to, I need to go. Can okay, you go, please? Uh, I'm, I don't know. Where the hell am I? Oh, oh. Um,. I'm inside of the... Well, this is problematic. <laughs> Can I even shoot him from here? Uh, yeah, no, probably not, because there's, there's collision in there. <laughs> uh, guys, I think I broke the game. <laughs> yep. So, it's definitely not a perfect game. I'm gonna have to restart the checkpoint. <laughs> I'm in some, some sort of box, I've been pushed inside of it. I think it's the front of the truck, but... Yeah, I have no idea, because I can't see... Yeah, look, I'm inside of a container. Yeah, okay, resetting. Okay, that just... That just... Okay, we just went completely for that, so I need to go in here. And that closes down. Um, let's grab all of that. We probably need to go up. Them some. Okay, calm down. They can't reach me. I mean, they clearly can. There we go. They clearly can. I'm still holding the sprint button. I mean, okay, but they did. I think they just grabbed grab her cap. Yeah, she lost that. Can I just come out? Kill the bastards. Kill the bastards. Thank you. Joel? We're gonna have to run! Hi Joel! Come on, I'll cover you! Keep going! Come on, let's fly! Okay, oh, we're going to still with Abby, okay. Oh shit! Hold up! Um, okay, that's good. This way! Good idea, good idea, good idea. Please, let's go. Thank you. Okay. I mean, if she wanted to kill Joel... You okay? This is the time for it. Where the hell 
where'd they all come from? It don't matter. What does is where we going. Um. We're we go out the back. We can make a break for the lawn. Oh, I ain't got a better idea. Hey, you got a gun? Yeah. Yeah, look. Well, I hope you're a good shot. Keep up with us. Yeah, I hope I'm a good shot as well. We gotta this warn everyone. And come really back with badly. a cleanup crew. We gotta live through this first. Watch them windows. Um, what's this? Oh, I can grab the fight. They're everywhere. Gotta move. Go <laughs> the door. Okay. So let's get to the door. I feel like the door is not gonna help us too much, but there we go, the door. I got the door, guys. Ooh. Okay, so two hits. And there goes the pipe. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Uh, and I'm gonna get it. Okay, so there's another pipe over here that served me well last time. So a cable car. The window. That's our way out. You uh, see a way out there? Here, uh, use this. Use what? An old cable car. That's. Hey, the... girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how do I help? Okay, over here. Push it up under the car. Okay. Didn't get the idea at first, but we need to push it up onto the cart, and then we I'll can roll it around. The you two keep those off me. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, I mean, Joel is doing a. I mean, he's doing fine. Oh no! Yeah. Okay. I wanted to hit the clicker, and then all of a sudden there was one on my back, so... Yeah, I got it. Punching a clicker is dangerous. <laughs> got it. Shoot the clicker. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I think there's another one behind me. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Oh, gold. Okay, they're ready. Hey, yeah, the yeah. Window. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, go. gonna, I'm gonna grab this crowbar. Thank Hurry. you. There we go. There we go. And up and over. I should I probably you. heal up. Get close to us. Where are we going? It's this one. Come on. Can I? Oh, no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. no. Nope. Okay. No time for healing. Call it. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it, and I'm in. Damn, that popped off really quickly. Holy crap, the Hey, I'm Tommy. That's Joe. What's your name? Abby. Abby, are you okay? Yeah. Okay, so she's clearly hold. focused on Joe now. We're gonna outrun them all, William Jackson. We need to barricade that door. Tommy, we cannot stay here! The horses ain't making it all no, that my way! My friends! My friends are at a mansion just north of here. It's fenced in, we have the whole perimeter secure. It's a ball, please. I can work. Alright. I'll get the door. Alright. You ride with me. Come on. Come on! She's clearly confused on what to do right now. Uh, there we go. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, wow. Okay. And and that was chapter three, I suppose. Because we gotta fade the black, yeah. What about this one? When I was twelve, I found a skateboard. Uh-oh. And I tried to get on it. <laughs> and it shot right out from underneath me. <laughs> Wait, how did you get the scar? I fell on my knife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the chemical burn. 
Mm. I doubt myself. Why? Uh... To cover a bite mark? Right here? I got jumped by an infected when I was 14. And it turns out I'm immune, so it healed with a ring of fucked up teeth marks and cysts and... Ow! Fuck you. Well, uh, hey! <laughs> I told you a real fucking story. I did tell you a real fucking story! Oh, you want a bite mark? Uh, what? Do you hear that? Jesse? Just stay there, okay? Are you just, okay? Just, will What's you wait, going on? please? What? Just turn around. What are you doing? <laughs> are you okay. <laughs> okay. You're supposed to be on patrol. That was great. There's a blizzard outside. Is that weed? Didn't want to interrupt the moment here? there. People are counting on you. You get that? What we do matters. Well, then why aren't you at the fucking lookout? Because Tommy and Joel didn't show up. What do you mean? We waited for them for an hour. I was looking for their horses when I saw lights. Maybe they just went back to town. Without being replaced? No way. How much of their region have you covered? Not much. Then we split up. Go at it from different sides, and we can cover the whole thing in a few hours. I don't like you riding solo. We don't know what's out there. Exactly. What if they need help? Okay, I'll head west, Dina can take south, and you come from the east, but be smart about it, yeah? Okay. We're probably done with the fun times now. Things are gonna get more and more serious. I mean, not, not that it was ever seri uh, fun. <laughs> the horde of infected and... Where did that horde come from, by the way? Damn. She's a, a very good shot, by the way. Better than me. That was a better call of the Molokos. Damn. Okay, but we do get the benefit of the Molotov cocktails here. Let's get inside! And now we're probably gonna get to the real reason why Abby was, uh... Why Abby and Owen wanted to take the village. Because we still don't know. This scared us. I know. How are you guys doing? We're good. Thanks. Yeah. Can I talk to you for a minute? You want to get those saddles off? No, no. It's all right. We'll just ride out the storm and we'll get out of here. No got any brushes or a towel or anything? You are nothing lucky. Hey, you have no idea. I don't get electricity in here. Where the fuck have you been? There are solar panels on the roof. And who are these people? How long y'all been here? Since yesterday. Yesterday? Yep. What are y'all doing out this way? I'm just passing through. You two live nearby? We do. A few hours down the hill. Y'all should come back with us, restock, before you head out. Appreciate it. I'm Mel, by the way. Tommy. This is my brother. So she's Owen's Joe. wife or girlfriend? Uh-oh. Y'all look like, like you heard of us or something. Because they have. Ooh! <laughs> Fuck! Okay. Laura? All clear? He's out. Put him against the wall. Tommy! Yeah. I don't think Joel is gonna make it out of here. His leg is gone. That was a shotgun. So they're ex-fireflies, I suppose. 
Joel Miller. Who are you? Guess. Why don't you say whatever speech you got rehearsed? Get this over with. Tourniquet is like. The tourniquet, Do what I exactly? There's nothing left. His knees are gone. There is nothing left to tourniquet. I do love the detail, by the way, that Abby still has the crowbar from before. But damn! God damn it! Clear out. Now the question is, why Abby specifically? You don't get to rush this. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm guessing Joel is gonna die rather soon. Joel! Tommy! Okay, she's already at the correct place. How do I get down there? Well, not with the horse, probably. Ooh, I think this is gonna call for an alley okay, rampage. Sure. Which we know she's really good at. But definitely stealth. Joel! I mean fuck stealth right Tommy! now. <laughs> I just talked about stealth, but I mean we're gonna have to take this slow eventually, but not right now, I think, yeah. Let's focus on the building first. And see what way we can actually take to get down there. Because right now I don't see a way. Gonna have Joel? to be careful. Because of course we know Tommy? more than Ellie. Shut up, Ellie, please. Please, I don't want to tell you this, but please shut up. Oh, gold. Yeah, thank you for automatically grabbing the gun. So, luckily we entered the building through an empty room. And... Ooh. This time it actually makes sense that there are bullets lying around. Yeah, from somewhere in the building. And probably everybody is over there, just focusing on Joel at the moment. Are they gonna kill both Tommy and Joel? Because Tommy was also bleeding heavily from his, uh, his face. He was hit like four times in the face with a gun. And guns are heavy. Guns are really heavy. They have a nice television. Can we open some of this up? No. I should probably rush. Towards Joel. Joel. Um, okay, so it makes sense that it's empty over here. We saw that shortly when they entered this building. And I think Shit. it was. Is there a door over here? No, there isn't. Fuck. I'm um, just gonna. Because I need to take a look around. Every bit of resources that I can get is gonna be uh, useful so it is coming from down there we're in the kitchen at the moment i was just scrounging around a little bit um but it doesn't seem like i can open up anything else they probably want you to rush to yeah they probably want you to rush to joel now okay this is probably gonna be the door yeah it's right behind this door can i grab another pipe from the wall or something no nope. here we go Okay. Ooh. Slash in the face with that move of power. Get her hand! Get the fuck off me! Bitch! You got her! You got her! Okay? You're gonna fucking die! What's going on? Let him go. 
Who is that? Let him She's go! Snuck in. Why aren't you posted up outside? We didn't think anyone was gonna show up. The hell did you expect? We gotta get out of here before the whole town's on top of us. You're done. You want what I want, right? End it. Now. Joel, get up. He Joel, can't. fucking get up. Please stop. Please don't shoot. Joel, please get up. <laughs> no! Yeah, okay. I thought something was gonna happen, so I was keeping quiet, but yeah. As expected, oh my God. Joel's Ellie? dead. Ellie. That is uh, one way to start the game. Well, Jessie? after about two and a half hours. I think we got our main drive for the rest of the game. This is gonna be a pure-blooded revenge story. Oh, we're right back at the village all of a sudden. This is where we started. Is Tommy still alive? Because he didn't look good either. But damn, that was uh, harsh. I mean, I'm gonna assume they were fireflies. But what their exact link with the fireflies was is unclear, especially for Abby herself. Ah, okay. Hey. Hey. Could I sit down, please? Marie wants to make sure you're eating. She can't stop us. <clears throat> they have the guys that we would need to do this smart. We'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. So they just get to get away with this? Nobody wants that. Yeah, but that's what's happening. What if we get hit by hunters again? Is this you talking or is this her? It's a valid point. If it were you or me, Joel would be halfway to Seattle already. No, he wouldn't. He absolutely fucking would be. Well, we don't even know for certain that they're from Seattle. Washington Liberation Front. That's what you said was on those patches. What if they stole those jackets? That's... What the <sighs> WLF move? What are you doing? You know what? I'm leaving tomorrow. And if you want to come with me, great. You have no idea what you're walking into. You don't know how large that group is, how armed. I don't 
Get here. You can't talk me out of this. Give me a day to talk to Maria, okay? There's gotta be some folks she can spare. And if she won't budge? <laughs> well, I'll figure something out. One day. Please. Okay, I think we were introduced in those, those first few hours to the the characters that will probably be joining us. Most likely Dina and Chassie. Because, I mean, they're young. They're going to be as reckless as, as that, just leaving a very safe village of uh, Jackson here. Or town, I should say. But it's been at least, I mean... A few days, maybe even a week, because her wounds have healed quite nicely. And there we go. That's a f one of the first times we actually get the music back as well. At least, the first time I'd actually, uh, actually notice it. I want to stop at his house before we leave. I just have to pick something up. Okay. I don't think we even knew what they were arguing about before because we the four years later started with ellie and i couldn't get to the horses joel looks like tommy took one fighting to about something but down. we don't know what it was about <sighs> fucking tommy we'll figure something else out on the way a car or a horse or something okay this makes getting to seattle a lot harder and it's going to be harder. You can still change your mind, you know. I know. Just don't want you to feel like you have to. Ellie. You go. I go. End of story. But I would think about this before you leave. Because... You're pretty safe right now, and just all you of that for backpack. revenge. I hit it by the east gates. I figured we'd want to slip out that way. But it takes quite a while for this game to get going. Although we we had a few tense scenes, but that was mostly because of Abby's part, and then the climax with Joel's dead. But uh, damn! Wow, he was actually pretty loved in this community. Look at all the flowers and another squirrel. But yeah. It kind of makes sense story-wise to kill off Joel now. Just to put the focus completely on Ellie. But it still stings. What do you need? Oh, I can go get it. I want to do it. I'm okay. Come on. It feels kind of weird. Thanks. I thought his death would hit me harder, but... 
I mean, we didn't really spend too much time with Joel in this game, and it's been a while since I've played the, the previous game. So... I wasn't too invested. The, the moment didn't hit me as much, because the moment he got shot in the leg, the, the shot from the shotgun that shattered his, uh, his knee, kind of made it clear that he wasn't going to recover from that. So he was either going to be severely injured and out of the game for the rest of it, or, of course, be the uh, impetus for the entire story. So uh, let's take a look around. Dinosaurs. Okay. Um. Dino, I guess. <laughs> that was a good day. Okay, let's put that back. A good day. Am I missing a reference somehow? Probably. This is a really nice house, by the way, in the post apocalyptic world. With all the very shiny equipment over here. I mean, where did they get all of that? Or did it just maintain it well enough to, uh, to make it look like that? That's a nice owl mug. Hmm. Put that back. Is there something else I need? To Ooh, aha. Uh -huh. She wrote something down and she, she drew the owl that was on the mug. Did anything else pop up? My mouth tastes like iron, wounds break open as I sing. You were the soft twang of nylon, a smell of wood oil. Fretful? I think it's fretful. Can I read it like normally? Um, guitar strings with iron twang sound brighter. They mistook your resonance and left me with rust. All I have is our last conversation, looping like a chord progression, harmonies and blood. W.L.F. Washington Liberation Front. Who are they? Tommy said her name was Abby. Okay, definitely setting up the revenge story. We got it. Okay, so uh, let's finish the tour of Tommy's house and um, get this adventure started for real. Isn't that the painting that was in Uncharted 4 as well? It kind of looks familiar. A lot of cowboys. On the paintings here. There's a picture of uh, Tommy and Joel. And then, yeah, horses. He was a really big fan of horses. And then we have the guitar. Or was he making? It looks like he was making another guitar. Is that the same guitar we saw before? No, because it doesn't have the. The moth at the top. Let's check out the journal entry she just wrote down. All the promises at sundown, I meant them like the rest. Okay, so that's the only thing... Yeah, the only thing she wrote down there. Oh, and he was making... That's a Wrangler. So he even had pictures as reference material for making that uh, a Wrangler statue, which is nice. And he clearly made all the sculptures as well. He was... Pretty talented at that. We, did we ever see that in the original game? I can't remember. And then the bathroom. Nothing really in here either. And then the bedroom, I suppose. There's something over here. The iconic green jacket in between there. I mean, you might see this as a very weird scene, her sniffing the clothes of uh, of Joel, but it is something you do when you miss somebody, especially when they're dead. Just something, smells are, are, are the, the one thing that bring back memories the, the strongest, so it really, really makes sense that she does that. It just uh, helps in getting uh, getting some closure as well. I even got the picture of uh, him and Sarah framed. So that was his, his daughter at the beginning of the first game. I love how this entire scene just doesn't have any dialogue. And then, of course, there's a, a picture of him and Ellie as well with the horses. So that was probably taken here. And then there's a red box here. And I think that's the guitar in the back there. Oh.
The Broken Watch. That is... I mean, if you if you never played the original game, that's the watch that broke at the moment um, that his daughter died. His daughter was shot by that uh, soldier. And then we get a, a revolver. Okay. Grab that as well. Get our... Um, is that our new gun then? I suppose, because it doesn't look like we have our original weapons back. Everything okay? And this is also not that guitar that we saw at the beginning, because that's that guitar is probably in uh, Ellie's room. Uh, that would make sense, but uh, yeah, okay, so Dina's calling out for us. So let's just go down. I can't really run at the moment. But yeah, I love that this scene was completely done without dialogue, just... Makes it sink in a little bit more, even though, you know, I already told you guys that the, it didn't hit me as much. But there we go, Maria found that, probably. Maria, I'm headed to Seattle. I wish I could let it go, but I can't. I have to bring these people to justice. Ellie's gonna try to come after me, but stop her. Take her guns, lock up the horses, maybe lock her up. Buy me some time so I can end this. Love you always, Tommy. He's gonna get himself killed. He should have taken me with him. You should have given us a group to go after those fuckers. I wish I could. You gotta try to lock me up? I'd prefer that you stay. That's not gonna fucking happen. I'd prefer that you stay, but I know you better. You going with her? Yeah. So you're just gonna sneak out of here? Hmm? Yeah. On foot? Yeah. I told the stable to let you out with your horse. Grab some ammo too. Thank you, Maria. Don't thank her yet. Just, uh, do me a favor and bring my dumbass husband home in one piece, please. Because that's the main reason, of course. Of course. All right. Get going, you're, you're losing light. Maria doesn't want to send them out, but of course, now that Tommy has left, she wants him to come home safely as well, so the more the merrier in that case. Even if she can't uh, risk leaving Jackson undefended. And there we go. Seattle. Day one, okay. Are we already at Seattle? Because I'm a bit confused. How much time has passed? Because there's no snow anywhere. Or is this... This hunter was on top nope. of him. Okay. Drowning him. And Joel couldn't get to his gun. Jeez. Were you scared? Well, I, I didn't even think. I just... I just ran in there, grabbed his gun, and... Shot the guy in the face. How old were you? Fourteen. How old were you when you first killed someone? We talking infected? No. Fully conscious, non-fungal person. Ten? Wow. Damn. What happened? The guy was coming at my mom. I stabbed him. Shit. He got me beat. Yeah, I'm a real badass. So how lost are we? Uh, we're not. Uh-huh. Hey, have a little faith. Okay. What about those crazy cannibals you said you and Joel ran into? They came after you guys once. Maybe these WLFs are connected to them. No. It didn't seem like the same group. 
Maybe those black market smugglers back in Boston? Do you not? Joel crossed a lot of people. I don't see the point in guessing. Okay. At least until we find out more information. I mean, yeah, I've been pointing to the fireflies all this time, but Ellie does have a point. Um, Joel pissed off a lot of people in the first game. Because we have the cannibals, we have um, the hunters um, in between that when they crash the car. Um, and then of course the fireflies themselves. But indeed there's not just a single group that Joel has actually... Uh, I was looking at another squirrel. Uh, that Joel actually has pissed off. So, or well, more than pissed off. I would say like slaughtered half of the group population of all of those. This is a gorgeous forest by the way. This is, wow, and so densely populated, that's probably the biggest difference with other uh, video game forests that we've uh, played through before. This is really, really dense. The detail up into the, the treetops. Yeah, we're getting close. Start keeping an eye out. You got it. So this also, oh, look at that. That's just a cool indication of how much time has passed since this all started. Because this had to be a road before, and now it's just a fully grown forest, at least closely to it. I, I can gallop, but I don't even know where to go, to be honest. Do we need to go over here? Okay, just let's follow the light. There's still a few cars hidden in the brush. Aha! Here we go. Guess I was wrong. That's more like Turns it. Turns out you do know where you're going. Wow, this game, I don't know where to look, what to look for first, because this is really, really nice. Um, only if I can access some of these vehicles, because we could do that before. I'm gonna just keep an eye out for open doors, and if we uh, can get down, there seems to be even uh, some sort of trailer park on the side here, maybe a checkpoint? Might as well take a look. Because from what I've heard, this game is actually pretty long. But it does yeah. give you the option to explore a lot of the uh, areas you're passing through as well. But it's completely optional. But uh, if, you, if, you watch, if you've watched any of my playthroughs, you know that, of course, yes. if I get the opportunity to uh, scrounge around, I'm going to do so. So that's another trading card. And then we get a document. Seems like a, a spreadsheet of some sort. Oh no, it's a map. Okay. So we're actually pretty close to Seattle. Or we're at Seattle already. I don't know how much time has passed. Because, um, to be honest, I don't know where we are, where we were originally. How far Jackson is from uh, Seattle. So that's the highway that we're on. And that is probably... Yeah, so that highway goes through the entirety of the city, which is handy. Let's keep that. That's probably going to come in handy. Although knowing this game, this is just probably uh, a document that you could collect. Anything good in there? Found an old tourist map. Well, that's something. I love how we actually got dialogue from that as well. The the fact that we got a little bit of dialogue about the, uh, the the optional collectible that we found. So again, a lot of eye for detail. And we also just learned the name of the horse. So the horse is named Shiver and it is the same one that we used in the first part of the game because it still has that white stripe along its nose, along its snout. Oh, damn. So yeah, it is a highway, but it doesn't seem to be that easy. Because uh, the highway has been completely flooded, overtaken by this uh, stream. This, I mean, I, you can definitely call that a river already. So let's just cross. Oh, and the horse even slows down because it's up to its belly and water. I mean, just the, the ambience of this sure game. seems quiet. Yeah. Think about how well we had our lookouts. I know. That's what scares me. Aha, uh -huh. so... Even though it is quiet at the moment, they... 
try to keep in mind that of course when they were at Jackson or at their lookouts were also not visible at all. They were becoming very adept at hiding the lookout so they uh, can report back without the guys that are actually approaching ever knowing about it. But should be getting close to some type of building, right? This, this doesn't really make sense because we're at the highway but we haven't seen a single sign of buildings. There we go, that seems more like it. Okay, maybe I should stay Whoa. in the shadows. Is that the QZ? Yep. Watch the high spots. Okay, so the quarantine zone. Um, I should probably... I mean, it says triangle, but I've been using circle to get up the horse uh, constantly right now. So let's take a look at the checkpoint itself. So military vehicles. This might actually contain something useful. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna work from the back, I think. Although, you know what, let's just explore the buildings as we come across them. So, first one over here. Seems like we did get our weapons back, by the way, so we can actually swap between the revolver and the normal pistol. And now we also still have the long gun. Although we did, I think we got stripped from our ammunition, because I did have more ammo when we started, uh, when we ended the last part. Um, but for now, this seems to be very slim pickings. Nope, nope, nope. And that's probably an effect of the difficulty as well, because resources were going to be scarce on hard. When you get to the gate, look for a soldier named Kieran. Tell him I sent you, then give him the kilo and he'll get you inside of the wall. Good luck. Okay, so definitely people still communicating out here, but nothing useful for me here. Uh, this does seem to be climbable. Might have a, a reason to or not. Nope, doesn't seem like it. It's actually pretty open. Seems like there's plenty of ways to crawl over the fence and get the higher ground. And this checkpoint, anything else? Oof. Very, very empty, which makes sense. It's pretty picked over. Yup. Oh, but there's another document over here. Seems to be part of a... Uh, ooh. Yeah, the stages of infection. So that's what I was talking about before. So first the runner, then the first signs of being a clicker, then the th stage three is a clicker basically, and then stage four um, is probably the big boys. Um, so stage four is called, I don't know how, I think they're called bloaters. So rare but dangerous evolution of stage three infected, incredibly strong and capable of throwing acidic projectiles. Do not engage, and that's absolutely necessary, but uh, yeah, don't look forward to our first engagement with those things. Seems like there's nothing in here. With a single bit of ammo or anything. Um, and these are cells. Are these cages? Yeah. Holding cells. Soldiers had them in Boston too. We got a little bit of rags over here. But that's basically it. I mean, I'm gonna take what I can get. Because rags, I can make Molotov cocktails with that, um, I s s assume. So, yeah. I've been stripped of all of my uh, my resources as well, because I had I definitely had more after the final fight. But I do still have the pills. Um, hmm. I'm actually wondering which tree that we need to go into first, because this one eventually gives us extra health. But this one also gives us more effective health kits and 50% increase is going to be really good resource wise as well that we save up a lot so trespassers will be killed on site and we get another journal entry in her journal oh wow there's actually a bit of history here now too so Idaho Falls, Dina caught three jackrabbits tonight she has these traps her sister taught her how to build they're fucking effective my appetite hasn't come back yet, trying to force food down. And then Twin Falls found a camp along the main highway. If it was Tommy's, he's probably only a day or so ahead of us. We're getting close to boys. Dina's pushing uh, to go around. I don't want to... I don't want to add two days to this trip. These hunters tried to ambush us. Fuckers didn't stand a chance against us. We were scavenging for supplies and I was looking at Dina. I felt a deep appreciation for her coming along. I really love her. 
and then Baker City, we saw a pack of wild horses today. They were skittish. Then Dina offered them some, some of the fruit we collected. They ended up following us a bit. Wish I had a camera. I've never seen her smile so wide. For like half a day, I wasn't thinking about the WLF or Joel. Feeling guilty about that now. She shouldn't be, but um, I'm struggling to sleep. Keep seeing him with his head. Dina seems to be sick. I think she caught a cold. I feel calmer with her lying next to me. I want to do something nice for her. Then Yakima found another camp along the highway. Can't be sure if it was Tommy's, but we haven't seen other people in two weeks, so fingers crossed. Trespassers killed on site. How many of you are there? How many people have you killed? And it is... Oh yeah, I kind of missed that. So yeah, that's the... That is actually the WLF shorthand. So the W on top of the LF. That is... Okay. So there's, been, there's definitely a few These here. These soldiers from the QZ. See the Fedra uniforms? You think it was the WLF? Yeah, and they left them here. Like a warning. That's fucked up. Okay, so this is no longer part of the quarantine zone of the official, well, quote-unquote, official military. That Liberation Front actually killed all of them. So I'm guessing we're not getting in there. Is is Dina gonna get on? Or... Because I feel like... Do we, don't we need to go over there now? Or... Because... Wait a second, so... Oh. Oh. No, no, I... Okay, I got it. Yeah, okay, so we can actually try to get in. There we go. And then jump across the cages onto the roof. Probably need to be careful that we don't drop down. Although, I mean, that's something they like to do with Nathan Drake and Uncharted, but over here... Dina, hey, help me up here. Not everything crumbles underneath Ali's feet, I suppose. So, one, two, three. Here we go. Up and about. I don't know how you're gonna get Dina down. Then can you kick that down? It doesn't. I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, it doesn't Just look like you can, can kick that down. Just see if you can get the gate open from the other side. Sounds good. A giant gate? Isn't that gonna like, you know, arouse suspicion? Oh damn. Okay, so we can be very, very careful. Because I don't want to have Ellie die in a horse. No, 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 no. What are you doing, Ellie? No. There we go. Um, there we go. And slowly walk across. <laughs> balance. Balance. We don't balance. Oh, gold. I see what I need to do. So. Oh, what? So let's try that again. Um, I apparently need to sprint, even though it's not really sprinting. Um, then I need to drop down here and go onto my belly. There we go. And then we can jump onto the other side. And to over there. Oh, damn, that was loud. Ellie? I'm good. Yeah. Just almost died. Just almost, well, you, you technically did die. But that was completely my fault, so don't sweat it. Wow. Okay. Almost feels like we're back in Boston. There we go. So can we open up this giant gate? I don't see... I don't see anybody just yet. But, yeah, it seems to be a similar layout as on the other side. So might as well... Wait, what's this? Oh! I can actually use this. Okay, I was expecting to go down, but now we're going up. Which is probably how we need to open up... No, this is a watchtower. Let's grab all of that. And there's another trading card over here. And a note. Okay, maybe some more background information. Zelda, once your unit's taken the gate, open it up and coordinate with John's... Is that John? Why is there a dash to his name? Okay, John's unit. We've got plants in the refugee line already. Plants? I don't want any Fedra survivors. As soon as you've got control of the area, offer the refugees entry in exchange for loyalty to the WLF. May your survival be long, Isaac. Okay, that is, I mean, that is really, really evil, by the way. So nothing else in the tower, so we can go completely to the base level. Seems like we're going to have to jump that final bit. There we go. 
that was a really enthusiastic drop. And then we probably need to be quiet. Okay, so this gate is locked off. Aha, uh -huh. brick. Yes, definitely brick. I needed that. Bricks are life and I can actually smash the window with the brick. And there's another brick over here, so I can just refill. Oh, oh. Ah, there's a bottle here as well. Doesn't seem to be anything in the back of the truck, aside from a, a bullet hole. So let's just get inside the building here. I don't know if I need to be quiet already, because this seems... Doesn't seem like there's anybody here. Okay. okay. I wonder when this was written. So that those are different... Different passwords, I suppose. We've got a big operation coming up and Isaac wants us to scavenge any remaining supplies from downtown. Take any gas from the courthouse Serving garage to the base. dome. And take them Something. to the safe house in Seravina base. Okay. So we've got a... Kind of a waypoint marker now. Anything else? Doesn't seem like it, no. These areas have been scrounged completely, aside from just a little, little bit of alcohol. We can open that up. But more importantly, we can actually move through it now. Okay, so now we're at the other side. Does that give us access to anything else? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, never mind. There's a generator here. Oh, that's a generator. And uh, three times, there we go. So that's basically still the same minigame as before. Aha, and now we can actually... Ah, we can power up the gate itself. So let's drag that over here and plug that in. Oh, shit. Okay, there weren't any other sockets, okay. I presume? So now this gate is powered, so I should be able to just... Drag it? No? Or do I need to press the button? Something over here. Aha! Big red button. Boop. There we go. Ellie? Ellie? Over here. Yes, I'm opening up the small looky hole. Hey, everything okay? What was that sound? I got that gate open. Gotta figure out this one now. Well... We believe in you. Thanks. <laughs> she and the horse. Um, so now, this big gate, we did get... I mean, is that it? Is that... Oh wait, it is going to that pole. And then going down into this uh, container here. So, it's probably going to be here. But again, opening all the doors. There's a big red button over there, see? But uh, first, always check everything. Every Check your surroundings. Okay, no power. Makes sense. Hmm. Then I think we should probably grab the power cord from the one gate. I don't think that needs power anymore. We could take a look. Okay, we need to jump that with the horses, which is why that makes sense. Aha! So there needs to be a socket over here. Yeah, a wire needs to be attached over here. Needs juice. Okay. So I'm guessing... We can... I'm, I mean, this gate isn't going to close on its own without power, right? That's not how gates work. Yeah, they don't move. Okay, so now I can just throw that over here. Because I'll probably have a, a limited amount of uh, cord there. So if I just toss it over, then we uh, shorten the distance to... Okay. And thank you. Grab it, Ali. And then I should just be enough to plug it in over here. Yeah. Barely enough. So that enables the power in okay. there, and then I need to go in through the door again. And press the shiny big red button. There we go. Enter passcode. 
Wait, we got the boss. Wait, 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 wait. Um, wait, give, give me a second. It's in my, it's in my thingies. Um, documents. Checkpoint gate codes. So main gate zero five one two. Zero five one two. Zero five one two. Zero. Five. One. And a two. Yes. There we go. Well done. Yeah. Shit. I was almost envisioning half a horse there for a second. Let's get out of here. That crash was pretty loud. Yeah, it was. I mean, the rest of it also was, because this gate opening was also very loud. But I'm assuming that 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 gate dropping down might have made a big boom. So let's get back on the horse, and I think before we head in, found a note back there. Had some codes on it. it. Says there's a WLF safe house at some place called Seravina Base. Seravina. So we find it. Hopefully, we find our first WLF. Get them to talk. Go from there. Let's do it. Okay, so that's going to be for next time because I'm going to take a little break. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Very heavy episode of uh, The Last of Us Part 2. And when we get back, we're going to head into Seattle proper. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And hope to see you in the next episode of The Last of Us Part 2. Goodbye.